Hey guys, I just want to let you know that I do have a YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Carolyn Joe Music, no spaces. Um, please go over there, please subscribe, please click that bell so you can get all notifications when I post a new video. Hi guys, it's me Carolyn from Carolyn Joe Music and I'm back with a video for you. And this video may be a bit controversial, but first and foremost, I'm a woman, so I'm definitely for women. Um, I'm just not for the feminist movement of today. Um, I think it's just important to, you know, take a stand um, against certain things that you know that God is not for and that, you know, I just see that so popular in the world. Um so, of course, I'm definitely 100% against violence against women and children, period. So, I just want to put that out there. I have four points today, and I'm going to try to rush through them um, as eloquently as I can, you know. So, this is not a long video. Okay, number one, why I do not like the feminist movement is because I believe it, in fact, makes women less feminine. I think it focuses more you know, on um, the power that w women have and empowering women than actually them, you know, walking in their true femininity. Um, just bear with me, okay? Uh, I think a lot of women today are striving not just for gender equality, but to actually be like men. You know, they want to be able to do what men do and, 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 and you know, just act like a man but I feel like we as women were created for a reason and God has given us certain things that we are supposed to do and certain things that we're not supposed to do and I feel like that's okay you know we have our own part to play as women and it's just as important as a man's part and it has nothing to do with being docile or silent um, or being pushed to the side like we have been for many years it's about you know walking in our femininity and 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 there being power in that um, for example Queen Esther in the Bible. She was a woman, but she was also a queen. You know, we as women are queens. And God used her femininity to be able to save the Jewish race. Okay, so if it wasn't for her walking in her femininity and God being able to use her, you know, there wouldn't be any Jewish people today. I mean, or not as many, okay? So... A lot of women, it really shows up in their relationships. Um, when you really see this, you know, they don't know how to dial it back. They don't know how to allow a man, you know, to lead at certain times. You know, they don't know how to communicate, how to be as loving as they as they could be. You know, they don't know how to be, you know, less controlling, you know. And so for a lot of women, they remain single, especially in the black community. Um, you can just see a lot of unhealthy relationships because women do not know how to be feminine anymore. You know, there's, it's awesome to be, you know, independent, you know, and to make your money and run your business. That's amazing. But you also need to know how to, you know, maintain your femininity at the same time, how to stay soft. You know, a man doesn't want a masculine woman and neither does, you know, a female, you know, want a effeminate male, as April Mason would say. Um, I really love her. Um, and so we are queens, just like Esther. You know, Est queens are powerful. You know, Esther was powerful. She had power because her presence demanded respect because she was a queen and she carried herself as such. You know, queens have swagger. They have authority. They have leadership abilities. You know, they're strategic and they know how to delegate. And most of all, queens don't have to leave their thrones. You know, they don't have to be out here in all these women marches, you know, you know, trying to bust down the doors of double standards. Queens don't have to do that because they set the standard. And I think we should act more like queens instead of trying to strive, you know, to, um, 
to be like men or, or put ourselves above men. You know, women, you know, have been pushed down for so long. So now, you know, we're just all the way up here. Like we're right all the time. And you know, that we're better than men. And it's not true. You know, men and women both have their flaws. And you know, we both have things that we need to work on. Um, okay. So another thing that I do not like about the feminist movement is is that uh, they they like what God hates. You know, they stand behind abortion. They stand behind freeing the nipple and all other extreme, you know, sexual expressions that God, you know, God does not like, you know, we as women, um, yes, you know, you, you should have a choice, you know, but you should also, you know, be accountable, you know, and, and take responsibility for the choices that you're making, you know, and how, and what lives you are affecting. Um, we shouldn't be bound, but we also should not be in bondage. Um, a lot of women are out here just wild, you know, degrading their bodies, you know, you know, just being selfish, you know, and, you know, and just being treated like victims when we're not victims. We're, um, according to the word of God, we're victors. Um, we need to count the costs, you know, count the consequences and don't just, you know, do things just because of the culture and because of this movement and, and popular belief. Um, you know, this movement gets women off the hook, you know, for the choices that they're making, but, you are on the hook with God, you know, make no mistake about that. Um, and the last reason is, is that, you know, from what I've seen a lot is this feminist movement makes women actually hate men and um, make them afraid of men, you know, and make them paint all men with the same brush as their abusers or, you know, and push all their pain on men and make it seem like men are just, you know, the worst thing ever, you know, when that's not all men, you know, all men have not abused women, all men have not treated women like crap and wiped their feet on men, you know, there's a lot of men that are wrong, but not everyone is wrong, and not every man is a dog, and I really feel like the feminist movement kind, kind of paints men in a very bad light, um, all men in a bad light, and it's not right, and they also attack other women, which is definitely ridiculous i think how can you be a feminist but you're attacking other women online you know you're tearing other women down i think that literally is just working against what you say that you're standing for so i would encourage anybody that's watching this video whether you agree with me or not you know really search for your own individual purpose and calling in life you know don't go do things or believe things based on the, this movement any other movement or the culture um really you know search and ask God, you know, what you are supposed to do on this earth so that you could really make a change personally. Um, I don't stand for this movement. I never will. Um, and I think other women um, don't either. I don't think they really are for every woman. Um, so I love you guys. I hope you guys like this video and you guys have a nice and wonderful day. Bye.